The Keystone XL Tar Sands Pipeline will carry some of the dirtiest oil from Canada's boreal forest all the way down to the Gulf Coast for sale to overseas markets. It's all risk and no reward for America, yet the Senate Republicans have made it clear that approving KXL is the top of their agenda. Not to mention the fact that the House just approved a KXL bill for the 10th time. They're selling the American people crap and we're buying it. But here's the thing, politicians are gonna get rich, oil companies are gonna get richer off of the guise of a job creator, which is in fact just trashing the environment. Here's what's gonna happen in the next couple weeks. The Republicans are gonna try their darndest to push it through the Senate. They've been waiting for this for a long time, guys. This whole boondoggle of a process started way back in 2005 when TransCanada sent a bill for their first pipeline that would go from Canada into the US. This one went through both in Canada and the US, but then they came back again wanting an even bigger pipeline cleverly named Keystone XL, they would go all the way from Canada straight to the Gulf Coast. And that's the one we're dealing with now. But the fact is the consequences of the pipeline are black and white. People will try to point out shades of gray, but that's like pointing out shades of gray in the argument against evolution. Like evolution, climate change is real, ecology is real, and this pipeline will significantly increase the amount of carbon in the atmosphere and wreak havoc on the Canadian tundra as well as middle America. Plus there's the matter of what's actually going in the pipeline. Tar sands oil is incredibly dirty. Not to mention incredibly inefficient. It takes two tons of tar sands oil to create one barrel of bitumen, which then needs a heck ton more processing to even become something worth selling. All of this extra processing means even more emissions. According to the NRDC, this could result in up to 27.4 million metric tons of carbon being added to the atmosphere every year. Or if you're more of a money person, that could mean up to $128 billion in climate related costs. In addition to the cost and general dirtiness of the pipeline, it puts America's bread basket and waterways at risk. I for one don't want to have another Kalamazoo disaster. Back in 2010, 800,000 gallons of tar sands oil ended up in the Kalamazoo River in Michigan, which resulted in over $1 billion in ongoing cleanup costs. This kind of risk is huge and unacceptable. The pipeline isn't some miraculous job creating project that will reinvigorate America. Keystone XL would only create about 2,000 construction jobs that would last two years tops, and then only 35 permanent jobs. Meanwhile, clean energy companies announced 18,000 jobs in just the third quarter of 2014. Now we could sit around hoping that Obama follows through on a statement to veto KXL. But that's not enough. This bill just keeps coming back. And it's looking more and more every day like the Senate might have a veto-proof majority. So we've got a tweet, snap, text, email, snail mail, whatever. We just have to bother our representatives into recognizing that the pipeline is not good for the economy, it's not good for the environment, and it's not what the people want.